Touch Controls. I'm here at StromQuest and Company doing a lunch and learn. We're going to be talking about the InTouch product line. So InTouch has a simplified EMS system designed for the light commercial space. And what we try to help our customers first is measure, manage, and then you can save. Everybody wants to save, but like any business, you have to have metrics around what you do. And if you can't see what you do, how can you actually expect savings behind it? So we take a very simple concept of a remote thermostat, build in a lot of intelligence behind it, add in energy monitoring, add in the ability to do lighting control, and that way you have an expandable system. So how the product works is you have an EMS controller that would replace every thermostat that you have inside of a building that wirelessly communicates through the customer's Wi-Fi network or we have an ethernet version if they need a landline such as banks and other higher end security systems. We even have a GSM module that's launching here in uh, about a month for uh, military bases and some government offices that just simply you can't get onto their network. But in addition to that, we have energy monitors that go inside your electrical panel. The purpose of the energy monitors, you wanna pick up your entire building energy. So that way you can see where it flows and how it's going at different times of the day, what pieces of ele electronics are being used. But we're not trying to monitor every single piece of equipment in a facility. You want to pick up your big loads, your total, because then you can actually do an effective energy management solution. You do all that, and then you get to do it from anywhere in the world. Control, see, report, alarm. So if you're a multi-facility company, it makes it very easy to make sure all your employees are set right, they're doing the right things, just like any business. You have to have your metrics around it to be able to manage it effectively. One of the things that we've come accustomed to in this world is we pay our electric bill, right? Bill comes in, bill goes out the door, and uh, the account's payable to pay it because we all have to keep our lights on to make, to make money. The issue with that is that we don't know what's going on. So this helps you understand what's happening and where to use it at and then help you reduce that electric savings. And we've found anywhere from as little as 10% in a large restaurant to as much as you know 30% in facilities. So what is the parts of the EMS? The EMS consists of a controller, multi-stage system, we have one base product that does it all for you, whether it's multi-stage heating, cooling, single stage, heat pumps. It's set up for the new multi-stage heat pumps that are starting to be shipped out. We have the ability for our occupancy sensors to be tied into us, alarm systems to be tied in, uh, different features of alarming that can come into it. We even did a solution for one of the large school districts where they needed to have humidity and ventilation control separate and they wanted a ventilation control based upon an occupancy sensor. So that way they can either then future tie in a CO2 sensor or use an occupancy sensor to open and close the ventilator to help them really manage their energy costs and reduce over cooling. Next part, the energy monitor. We call it a GM and we have a couple of different versions. We have a GM1 which is used for your homes, your single phase solutions, and then we have a GM8 that, we're, that we have. And a GM8 consists of a, a main input side, which would be your phase A, phase B, and phase C, so you can do total facility monitoring the right way. And then you have a subload side. A subload side consists of eight positions and you'd monitor an air conditioning unit, a fan coil, refrigeration equipment, anything where electricity flows that's important to the customer. We have customers who find lighting to be critical to them. They want to understand how their lighting is being used, when it's being used, if pull signs are on, making sure lights aren't burned out. And it's fairly simple to install. It has a power cable that you connect to a breaker so you can get the true voltage. And then we have what we call what are split core current transformers, which just simply snap around your power cable, and then that allows you to pick up the current flowing in that line. It reduces the installation cost, and the black box, the GM, is wireless. So it wirelessly communicates back to the in-touch controller, which you don't have to run a bunch of wires everywhere, reduces the amount of installation time involved in a setup. And we can handle up to 3,200 amp main input panels, 
So it's a variety of sizes, variety of CTs that you can use on it, and a variety of voltages. So the one product really makes your life simple. You're not having to remember, well, do I have a 480 volt panel or 208 volt panel? You show up with one product and you're done. So we're gonna get into some of the cloud-based energy management portion on a live demo site. So I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time here, but the basic concepts of it are, you can quickly see what your facility is doing, you can quickly manage the facilities and multiple facilities all at one time. So we have global events, we have global schedules, global changes to your system. And you can see how it's saving money. One of the important things to notice here is that when we break down your total energy, we break it down between when you're open and when you're closed. This is important because most people don't understand how much energy they're wasting when they're closed. You're not going to do a whole lot when you're open. You're open for business. You have to have customers, everything coming in. There's little things you can do from an energy management world to help out in there. But usually your big elephants in the room are when you're not even there and you don't even recognize it. So where our customers are, the re restaurant industry, the retail space, schools, all schools typically have some sort of high-end uh, management system already associated with them, a DDC in their main buildings. But in a lot of their outlying buildings, they're portables, they're what they call red line schools, which may be a small elementary with your rooftop package units. They have nothing in them, and it's too, cost effective, too costly to put in a full DDC in those areas, so they typically don't do it. The InTouch system is a great window for them to get a system in and start being able to control and view what's happening there. Our customers, wide variety of customers from national chains to your independent guys. So as mentioned earlier, our typical product, uh, we've seen save as 10%. We are pretty conservative when we give numbers out. Um, Uncle Julio's was spending a million dollars a year in electricity. We saved them 15% on the low side. We found another $5,000 of waste energy that we weren't controlling, but we were able to show them that they weren't properly do, having their managers affect how they were using it. So they were able to implement new policies because they can now see this, and now they do monthly checks on their facilities to see what's happening. So really becoming a more proactive step instead of a reactive step. Uh, from your Jersey Mike's, which a lot of people know, down to your Sally's, and Sally's is one of your harder spaces. A Sally's is typically only 1,100, 1,200 square foot facility, one rooftop unit, we were still able to save them money. And that was with their previous managers doing a lot of good things already, but this system made it consistent and it took out their assistant manager who might have one day said, oh, it's cold or hot, so they put it down to 50 degrees because they don't understand how an HVAC system works and walked out the door that evening and the next day this unit was broken because it was frozen up. We have various various applications. So we, for our customers, we have all the way from a free portal that they can access multiple facilities, do all the control, all the way up to, you know, site monitoring that we can provide customers. And we do this in conjunction with our partners. So we want your help and we'll help you out in that same areas. We do have partner portals. So we're going to log on today to the InTouchGo dot com portal and work through that well that same portal can be customized with your logo so when every time your customer logs on they see who you are they remember who you are so when there's an issue they're not thinking about calling a1 mechanical to come out and do something for you they're remembering exactly who's taking care of it all sorts of documentation literature that we provide and support uh, we're constantly improving even what we do, not only from our unit side to our web portals, but also to tools that are useful in the field. So we're getting ready to launch a tool uh, for the installers here where you can, from your phone, be able to have our unit in a test mode, be on the roof, and manually move the relays around. So then you can look and see how the equipment's doing it in real time instead of running up and down the ladder all day long. We'll get uh, managed services. 
right, from at this point, we'll hop into the web portal. Come on. If I can uh, figure out how to do that. There we go. All right. So our web portal, when you first log on, you get a dashboard. And a dashboard consists of all your facilities off to one area, and you get to see exactly what's happening in that facility. So I get to see what my energy history has been, what my HVAC history has been doing, so I know exactly if I have excess runtime in my fans, or if I have heat and cool happening in the same days. I get to see my occupied versus vacant. And if I highlight over them, they pop up what I used, right? So I get to see what my total was. I get to see what it was for that time, that period in the occupied or unoccupied time frame. All right, this is showing my exact usage right this moment. So this Allen, Texas facility is using 170 uh, kilowatts right this moment. I get to see how all my systems are doing. Quick look at my alerts. I know what my temperature is in the store, or what my set points are. So I know a lot about what's happening without having to really dig down and see a lot. Try and make it simple. The goal of this system is you're typically not going to use it every day. So when you log on, it has to be, you can remember what you got to do and you get all your information at your fingertips. So an HVAC control, as we talked about earlier, we have an edit global mode where I can go in and change uh, my system's parameters from being on, off, my fans, and I can push it to as many or as few units as I want to. I have my global schedule mode and my global event mode, and we'll get into that here in a minute. But on this screen, I get to see my unit name. So the name that's here, center dining, that shows up on the unit itself as well. So that way, if someone in the facility is looking at something, and they think they may be having an issue and they're talking to you on the phone, you know exactly what unit they're looking at because you're not saying unit number four. Well, you don't know unit number four when you're on line, but you do know what center dining is because you can match the two. I get to see what my temperature is, my, my set points, my humidity, what my system is doing, if it's on, off, how it's running. I get to quickly see if it's locked or unlocked. So if I've locked it and someone's come behind me and unlocked it for some reason, now I can see it if I don't have my alert set for that. If I go into my global schedules, I get a select. I can select a default or I can select from a beginning schedule. And then I can, I can either modify this or I can simply push it to it and I can go in and select facility. I, and I can even go in and deselect an item. And then I, all I have to do is uh, confirm. It's that simple to, to push it to multiple facilities. If you need to control it or measure it, Stromquist and Company has a control solution for you. With over $2 million of inventory between our Georgia and Florida locations, an easy to use online ordering platform, same day shipping, and a factory trained team of controls experts to answer your questions, Strong Pussy Company continues in its tradition of offering great service and great products.